Donald Trump's declaration to crush anti-Semitism and pro-Hamas bias from January 20th, 2025, speaks directly to key conservative concerns, national security, religious freedom, and firm leadership. His speech resonates with many who are alarmed by the rising tide of anti-Semitism both in the U.S. and globally, especially as geopolitical tensions continue to escalate. There are those that say it's very much uh, like a long time ago when you could say anything, but all across our land you've seen Jewish Americans harassed and attacked and terrorized by anti-Semites and Hamas sympathizers. I can't believe what we've been witnessing over the last year. Actually, I've watched it in great detail. I've watched it, and I've watched it take place. It's hard to believe, yet despite presiding over this explosion of anti-Semitism, Kamala Harris has done absolutely nothing. She has not lifted a single finger to protect you or to protect your children or to even protect you with words. I'm here today to tell the Jewish American community that this ugly tide of anti-Semitic pro-Hamas bigotry and hate will be turned back and crushed starting at noon on January 20th, 2025. Urgent action is seen as necessary to protect the country and its most vulnerable, particularly Jewish Americans. Trump's vow reflects his commitment to defending religious minorities, aligning with conservative ideals that value law and order alongside the protection of individual and religious freedoms. His pointed critique of Kamala Harris further highlights conservative dissatisfaction with the current administration's handling of issues like anti-Semitism and national security. Many in the public believe that strong, decisive leadership is critical to tackling these problems, and Trump's rhetoric positions him as the figure to take charge, framed by traditional American values and the nation's role as a global security leader. In his speech, Jewish Americans are portrayed as being under siege by growing anti-Semitic forces, creating a climate of vulnerability and fear. Trump's promise to crush these elements serves as a source of psychological comfort to those feeling targeted, framing him as the leader who will act decisively to ensure their safety. By identifying clear enemies, anti-Semites and Hamas sympathizers, Trump transforms collective anxieties into a concrete narrative of threats and solutions. This offers a sense of control and resolution, easing the psychological burden that comes with feeling powerless in the face of increasing anti-Semitic sentiment.